All right, friends. So where we left off in our last reading of Separate is Not Equal, um, Mr. Mendez had been visiting the everything, everybody from the superintendent of the school, the superintendent's boss, the school board, trying to figure out why in the world his children were expected to go to the Mexican school, um, even though his children were American, first of all. And second of all, they lived closest to the school. Why shouldn't they be able to go there if it's a public school? Let's see what happens. That fall, Sylvia and her brothers had to attend Hoover Elementary School, better known as the Mexican School, on Olive Street in the city of Westminster. The building was a clapboard shack and the halls were not spacious or clean. A cow pasture surrounded the school. The students had to eat their lunch outside and flies would land on their food. There was an electric wire that surrounded the pasture to keep the cows in. If you touched it, you received a shock. The school did not have a playground, not even a swing. So I want you to start thinking about the differences between the Westminster School that they first tried to enroll in and Hoover Elementary School. The Westminster School was described as spacious and clean. Um, I think like about when I look at and think about the description of the Hanna or the Hoover School, excuse me, um, about the description of the electrical wiring and that brings up to question for me, just basic safety. Like, are these kids safe at this school? Hmm. The Mendez family, sorry, let me show you the picture first. The Mendez family did not give up. Time and time again, Sylvia heard her father talk with coworkers, friends, and other parents. It's not fair that our kids have to go to an inferior school, he said. It's not only the building that's the problem. The teachers at the school don't care about our children's education. They expect them to drop out by eighth grade. How will our children succeed and become doctors and lawyers or teachers? So what, they're, what Mr. Mendez is saying is like, in order to be successful, you have to be surrounded by people that believe in you. And he's worried that the teachers at the Hoover School don't believe in his children. They don't see that they have a future. They think that they're gonna drop out by the time they're in eighth grade. It's a really scary thing. Mr. Mendez created a group called the Parents Association of Mexican American Children. He tried to collect signatures for a peti petition to integrate schools so that all children, regardless of their skin color or background, could have the same opportunities. But every time he asked someone to sign the petition, he would get the same answer. No queremos problemas. We don't want any problems. Many of the parents worked on farms owned by white families and feared they would lose their jobs if they supported the petition. So I want you to think about that. These individuals, even though they really, really, really want what's best for their student, their children, they want them to have an excellent education, and they know that this segregation of a white school and a Mexican school isn't okay. They're too scared to do anything about it. They're scared of losing their jobs. And if they lose their jobs, that means that they lose their livelihood, their ability to support their children and support their families. Um, that's really, it's something that we have to think about a lot, right? Is sometimes when you're fighting for what's right, that comes with a certain level of risk. And in this case, some individuals didn't feel like the risk of losing the income, the money that they needed to have a house for their family, to be able to feed their family, was worth fighting for what was right. I want you to really think about what that means.